Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and shortcomings, and we beg the good Lord for His mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, um, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book, of kings. When the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to his son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord your God, following his ways and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances and decrees as they are written in the law of Moses that you may succeed in whatever you do wherever you turn and the Lord may fulfill the promise he made on my behalf when he said if your sons so conduct themselves that they may remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul, you shall always have someone of your line on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was 40 years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated on the throne of his father David with his sovereignty firmly established. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are exalted over all. 
Lord, you are exalted over all. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you. Lord, you are exalted over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you, enter, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We are all familiar with the saying, or maybe a command, travel light. Ako po ay aminado, kung meron pong tatlong araw na biyahe, ang dadalhin ko pong gamit ay pang limang araw. Dahil alam ko po at kilala ko po ang sarili kong sigurista. I would believe and even try to embrace this command. And this would result me to bring much bigger bag and prepare doubly for the trip. But my dear brothers and sisters, what is important or what is valuable with traveling light? It teaches us to be mindful of what is only isn't necessary because having too much, we might have nothing left for ourselves or for others or eventually aalis din tayo na hindi natin alam kung ano ang dapat lang dalhin. Solomon and the disciples of Jesus were asked to travel light. Maging magaan at isipin ang mga dapat na dalhin sa pagpunta sa misyon na iniatas sa kanila ng Diyos. Because for a missionary, for a man and woman of God, it is not how fancy or elaborate or how you accumulate things for you to prepare for daily mission or for daily work. The lighter you go, the graceful you can proceed with each day. 
Pero hindi lamang po pagta-travel light ang kailangan o nais ng Diyos sa kanila. Hindi lamang dapat onti ang dala. But as well, travel light, travel with the light. Magaana na hahayo, hahayo din sa liwanag ng Diyos. David sent off his son Solomon not only with less, but with the blessings of God, with the light of God. Before departing from this world, he asked his son to follow the Lord, to be good, and to be brave. And that is a way how someone can send his beloved not only to travel light, but to travel with the light. Same goes as Jesus. As Jesus prepared his disciples for mission, he asked them to travel light. He asked them not to bring anything, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. But he also sent them off with the light. Not only to travel with less, but to go on with life, with blessings, and with the protection of God. To move forward with the assurance that what we have inside is God's blessings and God's light. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa, put- sa patuloy po na tinatawag nga nating pagpapadayon sa buhay o sa pagpapatuloy ng buhay, may we not fall into accumulating things of our own, but to travel light and to travel with the light. More than reminding others to bring with them what is only necessary in mission and daily life, let us not forego them let us not forego of sending them off with the light and with our light. Your simple smile, your simple shoulder tap, ang inyo pong mga mahihigpit na yakap at pagkakamayan sa bawat isa, ang mga salita natin, and most especially, our sincere prayers. It is our part of sending each other off to travel with the light. Let us not only give up unnecessary things as we go and as we go on, but most importantly, to travel with the light. Go with blessings. Send off someone with love. May we send each other off to daily good life, and with God, who is light. Please stand. God the Father has invited us to be His ministers to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. For every petition, we shall say, Abide with those you send, O Lord. Abide with those you send, O Lord. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Abide, Abide with those, those you send, send o, o Lord. Lord. That the work of missionaries in foreign lands may be rewarded with an abundant harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Abide, Abide with, with those, those you send, send o, o Lord. Lord. That parents may persevere in their vocation of handling on the faith to their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Abide, Abide with, with those, those you send, send O Lord, Lord, that we may show care, sympathy, love, and understanding to those who are weighed down by life's misfortunes. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Abide, Abide with those you send, O Lord, oh Lord, that those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Abide, Abide with, with those, those you send, you send oh, Lord. oh Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass, as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. Let us lift up to the Lord our own petitions and our prayers for each other. For all of these we pray. Abide with those you send, O Lord. Peace. Lord God, in you we trust. You have chosen us in Christ to proclaim the love you have shown us. Make us true to the message of the gospel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive, to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the, the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.